Warning, the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. Proceed at your own risk. White Vervain, also known as Verbena urtikifolia, this member of the Vervain family is a perennial, meaning its lifespan is longer than two years, and it grows in a habitat of moist thickets, shores, and meadows. The plant will grow from two to five feet tall, and it has white flowers that are in bloom from June to October. The flowers have five regular parts, and the flower itself is a six to a third of an inch wide, tubular, in spikes, and only a few flowers open at a time. The plant has opposite leaves, and the leaves are coarsely toothed and egg-shaped. The stem is usually hairy. Some species of verbena have been suspected of poisoning cattle in Australia. Medicinally, American Indians such as the Meskwaki made an infusion of the roots and used it for profuse menstruation, and the roots were eaten to revive patients and restore them to health. According to Western herbal medicine, the medicinal part is the root. Its actions are tonic, emetic, expectorant, and sudorific. In small doses, a tincture was used to relieve gastric irritation. As an emetic and sudorific, it was given in a warm infusion or a powder for fevers. A cold infusion was taken for cases of debility, anorexia, and during the gradual recovery from acute diseases. It has been used for scrofula, visceral obstructions, gravel, and worms. The root of Verbena articiofolia was boiled with milk and water with the inner bark of white oak and a decoction was taken freely for cases of poisoning caused by poison ivy. Hi, I'm Mike from Plight to Freedom, and I'd like to thank you for taking your time out to watch my video. I hope you found this information to be useful, and if you have, please help this project grow by liking, subscribing, and sharing this information with your friends and family. For more information on wildflowers, visit me at plighttofreedom.com, and as always, keep your eyes and ears open, and your powder dry. <laughs>